Hi guys, Professor Latimer here, the CC mom who loves science, and today we're going to talk about CC Cycle 3, Week 21, Hands-On Science Experiment. can't believe we're already at Week 21, almost done. This is a fun week. This one's about pizza combinations. And so, just a side note, if it's a great day to have a pizza day at your community, um, just order pizza for everybody at lunch. That's, that's a fun option. That's what we're doing. But we're talking about pizza combinations. And so this adds on page 268 of your foundations guide. And we're talking about how many different types of pizzas could we get if we walked into a pizza shop. And you could get their favorite types of pizzas. You can ask everybody, okay, what's your favorite type of pizza? Raise your hand if you love cheese or pepperoni sausage or something else and so our question is if you walked into a pizza shop and they just handed you a box of pizza and you didn't know what it was what would be the probability that you would get your favorite kind of pizza and to keep things simple at first we're just going to pick three toppings and it could be any three toppings you want um, the guide picks cheese, pepperoni, and sausage. So that's what we're gonna talk about today, but it could be any three. And you could do this different ways. You could just draw it out on a whiteboard. You could give them uh, pieces of paper. I've just cut out different pieces of paper for the different toppings. You could have something laminated and laminated toppings and get uh, real fancy with it, but it doesn't have to be complicated. Just, it's fun to have uh, you could use poker chips for different uh, toppings. Just something that they can put together different types of uh, combinations of pizza toppings. Or you could do it all on the whiteboard. So um, just some different options. So I have my pizza here and we have three different types of toppings. We're going to have cheese and pepperoni and sausage. And... Each student can have one. You can have them work in pairs. And we're going to figure out how many types of combinations that we can have. So the definition of a combination is just an arrangement of objects in which the order does not matter. So that's at the bottom of the page here. So say if we had cheese and sausage, we could do I don't know, sausage and cheese or cheese and sausage. It doesn't matter what order they're in. So I have on my whiteboard, we're just going to keep track of how many one topping pizzas, how many two topping pizzas, and how many three topping pizzas, because that's the total number of toppings we have. And so call out and say, okay, who can make a one topping pizza? And see, you know, they shouldn't all have the same answer, but see what different combinations you get. So we should get a cheese pizza, we should get one with just pepperoni, and we should get one with just sausage. There, pick one with sausage. So, you can just keep track of it. You could either do tally marks, or you could um, make a little notes. Okay, there's one cheese, one pepperoni, and one sausage. So, that's three possibilities that we could get. Now what if we had two toppings on each pizza? So call out and see, okay, who can make a two topping pizza and see what different combinations you get. So there should be a cheese and pepperoni. There should be a cheese and sausage. And there should be a pepperoni and sausage with no cheese. So we'll keep track of that here. So we have one cheese and pepperoni, one cheese and sausage, and one pepperoni and sausage. So, so far we've got one, two, three, four, five, six possibilities. Six different combinations. And then have them make a three topping pizza. So that's our last possibility. So they're going to have cheese and sausage and pepperoni, everything on the pizza. So we'll, one, 
then cheese, pepperoni, and sausage. So that's seven total pizza combinations. And so ask, okay, what bring in our, our discussion of probability, which is the mathematical study of chance. Basically, what is the likelihood that you'll get what you want? So going back to our question at the beginning, okay, if, if they, you walk into a pizza shop and they handed you a box of pizza and you didn't know what it was, what is the probability that you would get, say your favorite was cheese. What's the probability that you would get a pizza with just cheese? So remember we write a fraction and at the bottom it goes, we put the total number of outcomes, of possible outcomes. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven possible outcomes, seven possible combinations. And if we want just cheese, well, only one of those combinations is just cheese. So there's a one out of seven probability, one out of seven chance that you would get the pizza that you wanted. And so you can kind of stop there. If you have extra time, you could add in even another topping. And so say we had uh, mushrooms. And so we would just add on there. So when we talk about our one topping, we could have one pizza that was just mushroom. And then when we add over here, we could have one cheese and mushroom. We could have one pepperoni and mushroom. We have one sausage and mushroom. So that added some extra choices. And then for the three topping pizzas, we could have one cheese, pepperoni, and mushroom. And one cheese, sausage, and mushroom. And then we'd have one sausage, pepperoni, and mushroom. And then we'd actually have a, another column for four topping pizzas where we have one cheese, pepperoni, sausage, and mushroom. So we added a lot more. And I might be missing some, but hopefully not. But see what they could come up with uh, for the different combinations. What happens when you add in another topping? And I may have missed some, but see what combinations they could come up with and then find out what that probability would be. See if I wanted to get cheese. So say I found all the possible combinations. Let's write our probability fraction. So there'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15 possible outcomes that we found. And if I wanted cheese, there would be one out of 15 chance. So that's not a very high chance. But to see what happens, you can, um, to make the experiment last a little longer, you could add in another topping. Um, check out also Nicole Liam's guide or, or science script for this one. It, it lines out uh, very nicely just how to walk through the experiment as well. You can find it in the e-magazine. It's the Sandbox e-magazine on CC Connected. And so we're just talking about combinations. And how many different combinations of things can we have. And so have fun with this one. It's pizza. So I'll see you guys soon. Thanks.